Welcome to Reptilian Diaries. I'm Frank. We do reptiles here. Where to begin? It has been a minute, like a hot minute, a couple months, I think, two months, three months maybe since I put my last video out. For that, I apologize. I've been moving. Things have been crazy. We moved from LA back up to Santa Cruz where I'm from. It's been 20 years since I've lived up here. I've been in LA for 20 years. It's a long time. But here we are. You can see the background different spot. We will be doing some uh, some tours of the new facility, which I can actually now call a facility because it's pretty sick. Um, you can see cages in the back. But more important things right now, we've got the West Texas series. Super stoked. I've never been to West Texas. And this was my first time. Me and Greg hit the road. Uh, how did we get there? Did we drive? Did we fly? We drove. We drove, me and my wife Jess drove from LA, Greg drove from Idaho, met up in El Paso, got in the car together, hit the road down to Presidio. And that's kind of where everything begins, Presidio. We'll just get right into the video. Thank you guys for watching, let's go. All right folks, West Texas time. We're psyched right now, we're gonna hit Big Bend. We're gonna be down here like five days. For me, I'm a gecko guy, I told you guys that. My number one target is Coleonyx reticulatus, the Big Ben gecko. I want to see this gecko real bad. Number two target, of course, is Lampropeltis alterna, the gray banded king snake. After that, it's uh, Crotalus lepidus lepidus, which is the mottled rock rattlesnake, and Bogertophus subocularis, which is the Transpecos rat snake, milk snakes, other rattlesnakes. What do you think, Greggy? New experience. Don't know what's going to happen. That's correct. So we're going to hit the road. Uh, we got a couple hours and tonight we're going to be herping. So we will catch you then. That's a good sign. It's 100 degrees or 99 degrees and it's raining. Alright, well, we made it to Presidio, which is kind of our home base for the next couple of nights. We're right on the border of, uh, of Mexico and the U.S. And we're going to be cruising some roads and walking some cuts and doing some hiking tonight and tomorrow night and the next night. Right now we're going to go do a little recon, drive some roads, try to find out what we kind of want to do. It's incredibly hot right now. It's 111, which is that's not good snake weather, but on the way down we got rained on, which you saw, so we might we might hunt the mountains tonight, but we're gonna drive down uh, down south a bit in the direction of Lajitas and just kind of see see what the temps are, see what the clouds look like, and kind of make a decision from there. So we will be in touch. Super stoked right now. How's that? Patanko. That's the fire. That's the caliente. <clears throat> While we're here, we stopped at this little restaurant called the Oasis. And uh, like I said, we're about to do a little recon, hit the road, see what's cracking, and then figure out what we're going to do. Onward. Later. So we made it down to the river. Big Bend. This is the Rio Grande, and we're doing a little scouting. Whew. I got flip-flops on, and a freaking mesquite thorn just went straight into my foot, right through the bottom of my flip-flops. Literally stepped out of the car, first step, just bow, got me. Check this out, though. That's pretty dope. For those of you who don't know about this area, this is the United States. Other side of the river is Mexico. So we're right on the border. And it's it's beautiful. It's hot. This is this is super cool. I'm gonna go check stuff out. Check this out too behind us.
pretty dope. I think my foot is bleeding, literally. Gotta check it. This is dope, man. I've never been down here. This is the shit I live for. Never been here. I love it. I love it. Box turtle, check this out. We're gonna move him off the road real quick. <laughs> Where you going, buddy? Look at that. So that is Terrapena Ornata I forget a, but uh, that's the desert box turtle. By the way, desert box turtle, terrapinna ornata luteola. Sorry about that. Like I said, first time in West Texas, everything's new to me. So the Latin kind of comes and goes. I get close. I might not even get close at all, but bear with me. Check that out. Oh, oh, he's mad. Isn't he cool? Look at that. Something's been chewing on him. Look at that, Greg. Is that cool or what? Something's been gnawing at him, huh? Yeah, probably coyotes and stuff. Look at that, dude. Sitting out in the road. It's alright. Don't let him bite. Let him go down here. Yeah. Gonna set him free. They're pretty common out here, but it's a lifer for me. Never seen one, so Never seen a wild one. very stoked to see that guy. He's cruising. Let's check him out one last time. Scaring him. Tail tucking. Stoked. That's a third line. Side Saw a side blotch lizard earlier. Saw a coach whip just go ripping across the road, but there was no chance on that. And then the boxy. And it's, ah, I just got fucking wrecked by something through my damn sandals again. Look at this crap. Ah. Yeah. Hee hee ho. That's what happens when you're an idiot and you forget your fucking shoes. It was too hot in the desert. So we came up to the mountains. I know you like my vest. This is that West Texas crap you gotta do. It's part of the law, so we wear them. They look goofy as shit, but it is what it is. So we're on our first cut. We're gonna start shining. Like I said, we're up in the mountains. Some of what we might find right now, hopefully, would be Crotalus lepidus, which is the mottled rock rattlesnake. Crotalus ornatus, which is the eastern blacktail rattlesnake. Obviously, Lampropeltus alterna, the gray banded king snake. There's uh, Pantherophus emery, which is the emery's rat. There's Pantherophus uh, bairdi, which is the baird's rat snake, which are actually pretty common up here in the mountains, which would be rad. And a handful of other stuff. There's uh, the Transpecos copperhead, which used to be Pictogaster, and now it's, uh, I don't remember. I'm psyched. We're just waiting for it to get totally dark, and then we're gonna hit these cuts. <laughs> Greg just found this little Coleonyx brevis. This is a little Texas banded gecko. And these guys are, these are the Texas version of what we find back in California. And they're, uh, they're smaller, but their patterns are really cool. Check that out. That's awesome. First reptile of the night, once it got dark, she's got eggs in her. So be really careful. We'll let her on her way and uh, keep looking. All right, so we just found our first snake of the night besides a coach whip that ran past us. This is a very young Crotalus ornatus. This is the Eastern blacktail. This is the Texas variant of Crotalus mollosus, which is in Southeastern Arizona and New Mexico, I believe. Beautiful little snake. This is a very small one. Check it out.
pretty stoked. That's a lifer for us. We're gonna pull them out and uh, get them to a place where we can take some better shots. photos and uh, let him go. Didn't find much. Took a long drive to come back down to the uh, lower desert. And I uh, just cruised up on a little Mojave rattlesnake, which is Crotalus scutellatus. These guys are nasty. They got a nasty venom. They, they live in the flats. And I mean, we, we were driving a long time, so we were happy to see this guy. Nasty little snake. He's got an attitude, but he's, he's actually chilled out. He's pretty killer. Just found some kind of little, I think it's a ground snake, or it could be a tantilla, but I don't know. I'm not good with these things over here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I thought it was a tantilla, but it's got this weird kind of black netting, so it kind of looks like a uh, kind of looks like a ground snake. So I'm gonna have to ID that because, like I said before, I'm not uh, I'm not by any means an expert on the snakes down here. All right, so just got a Scoloporus poinsettia, which is a crevice spiny, and this guy was sleeping up in the rocks. These guys are super cool. Super nice colors. They're super spiny. I keep saying super, but they're really neat. They uh, they actually give live birth. And these are actually the prey for a lot of the snakes that we are looking at. And I'm getting eaten up by bugs, but check that dude out. Pretty freaking neat. So we'll put him back where he was sleeping and keep looking. Wow. Just caught an adult. Freaking sc Scoloporus uh, poinsetti. Those live bearing scallops, these things are freaking huge. They live in the cracks all up in, so this is like the habitat right up in here. They live in these cracks. Look. And this guy just came, he was just sleeping right at the edge. This is actually a female. Pretty awesome. Really cool lizards. And these guys keep it interesting while the snakes are slow. Nice find. It's five o'clock in the morning. We've herped all effing night. I told you guys I wanted to find Coleonyx reticulatus, and Greggy came through. Check this shit out. That right there is magic. Why, literally, why I came out here. And Greggy, you saved the mother flipping day. Look at that beautiful animal. Big old egg inside. That's a beautiful female. Tucked right into that rock. Look at that. Mind is blown. It's literally 5:15 in the morning. We still got probably an hour back, <laughs> so we're gonna call it a night. I'm just psyched on that animal. Psyched. We're gonna take some photos and release it. 
head back. So we'll see you tomorrow. How epic was that? I mean, it was a perfect first day and I'm gonna end the episode on the first day. So that first night, I mean, the cut hunting was very slow, but managed to pick off Coleonyx brevis. It's a lifer for me. Crotalus ornatus, lifer for me. A little ground snake, lifer. The Mojave, not a lifer, but still. Never seen a West Texas one. Super cool. Uh, and of course, the Big Ben Gecko. That's why I went. So, I, I mean, that was just like, yo, there's the cake. Everything else is icing. It was all good after that. That's literally why I went. Super stoked to find that thing. Got some killer little photographs of it. We will flash those if we haven't already. We probably have. And uh, next episode is going to be day two and probably day three. And uh, stay tuned. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Good things to come. We are out.